Hey, it's Aurelius, welcome back to the channel. In this video tutorial, you're going to learn how to set up your own e-commerce website where you can sell your digital products, physical products or services too. I'll be outlining the core steps to take so that you can get started and have your very own website starting today. So let's get to it. First of all, if you don't have a website yet, I highly recommend you get one up and running today because simply put, if you wanna stand out amongst the crowd and your competitors, what's going to separate you from them is a professional website. These days, people are building, unfortunately, on social media, but they're posting their content there. So you don't wanna put all your eggs in those baskets such as Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and all those. Of course, don't dismiss it, but with a website, you look a lot more professional. You have complete control over what you can put on it, on your landing pages, on your product pages, so on and so forth. So with that said, let's build our website. All right, the first couple of things you're going to need is number one, a domain name, and number two, web hosting. At this time, don't get overwhelmed because it's really simple, really easy to do and get. And the service that I recommend is Hostinger. Based on benchmarks and tests, hosting a ranks up there when it comes to speed of their servers. So rest assured, when you do host with Hostinger, your websites will load fast, which is crucial when you want your visitors to go to your website and purchase your products. Now, signing up to Hostinger is really easy. If you look down in the description box below, there's a link to Hostinger. It's an affiliate link. However, if you use my coupon code, you can get an additional discount. I recommend the premium web hosting. The reason why is because you can host up to 100 websites, you get 100 gigabytes of storage, uh, you get free email, unlimited bandwidth, and if you look down below, there are other features too, such as a free domain name, which is one of the things I talked about earlier. All of the plans do come with a 30 day money back guarantee, including 24 seven, 365 day support, and 99% uptime guarantee. All right, so once again, I do recommend the premium web hosting because they do offer a free domain name when you register. So we'll click on add to cart. Now here are the plans. What I recommend is at least a 12 month plan. So that way you can get a further discount using my code Aurelius. So assuming that let's say you want the 24 month uh, plan, we'll select that. And then down the bottom, of course, fill in all the details where it says have a coupon, simply click once and then enter. Aurelius as the coupon, click on apply, and you'll see that you'll get a further discount on top of what's already on sale. I mean, for about $60 for two years, that's a no brainer really. So go ahead, check out, and then follow the rest of the prompts. And now we're gonna set up our website. Hosting is going to ask you to follow the guided steps. So we'll click on start now. It's going to ask you to create or migrate a website. We're gonna create a website from scratch. So we'll select create a new website, select. Next, select a platform. You're given two options, WordPress and hosting as website builder. This is relatively new, but you can use this, really easy to use. Feel free to use this if you do want to. However, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to install a WordPress website. So we'll select this. Now we'll set up our WordPress account. Select WooCommerce. This is the plugin that you'll need so that you can add digital products, your product services to start selling them through WooCommerce. Create a login and then click on continue. Next, you're given a few theme options to choose from. So you can very well choose one of these templates and then you'll get your website up and running. You don't need to set up anything except for customizing the website, which we'll get to. So feel free to choose a theme that you like. Don't worry too much about fonts, colors, because those can be easily customized once you've set it up. I like this one here, Plan Shop. So feel free to follow along if you do want to choose this theme as well. However, the steps are very similar if you choose one of the other themes as well, but let's click on select. Next, we're going to register a domain name. Now, because you selected premium hosting, if that's what you selected, you get a free domain name. So we'll claim our free domain. We'll click on select. Enter a desired domain name. In this demo, I've simply entered learn with Aurelius and I'll select a .com preferably if there is and I'll click on search. And bingo, domain is available and I can continue with this domain name. However, if you do come across a domain that's already taken, simply try something else or choose a different extension. Now let's finish the setup. I'm happy with all the settings here. I'll click on finish setup and then simply wait for it to do its job of setting up your website. All right, now that it says it's ready, what we can do is start editing our website. So we'll go to edit website. It's going to ask you to connect your Stripe account. We can do this now, otherwise we can leave it for later. If you go to the top and then click on visit website, you'll be able to see what your current website looks like. And there we go, we've set up everything. And now it's just a matter of customizing this theme and website. Now, the great thing about the way that we've set up our website through hosting is that all the plugins have already been installed. So if you wanna take a look at all the plugins, go to plugins, install plugins, and you can take a look at 
a list of plugins that have already been installed. And what we're going to do now is basically customize our theme a little. So giving you a feel on you know how to actually customize it. So if you go to appearance, go to customize, you're given some options to customize your website. Some of these things are quite advanced and you might not even need to play around with. So if you go to head of builder, first of all, you can change the logo. So we can look at the site title and logo. So this is the existing one. We can change the logo. Have your logo ready. I've got mine here. I'll simply drag and drop it. Now that it's uploaded, I'll click on select. Crop it so I'm including the entire logo of mine and I'll click on crop image. Now you see the logo right here. You can change the logo width if it's too big or too large, but somewhere around there looks good. You may not be able to see it clearly because of this background. That's one thing we're gonna change in this tutorial. But for now, that looks good. We'll click on publish. You may wanna take a look at some of these other settings. Feel free to customize it at your own time. But for now, let's go and close it. We'll go to pages and all pages. What you wanna look for is the main front page. So this is the front page home and we'll edit with Elementor. And here we are, this is where you can change things like the hero image and the heading. So instead of this, we can say training guides to help you build your brand and put anything else right here. I've just put in two aspiring creators, training guides to help you build your brand. Now from the navigator, I'll choose section and then we can choose a different background. We'll go to style and then this is the existing background. You can replace it with anything else. I'm just going to upload this image here, which I found on unsplash.com. All right, good to go. I'll click on insert media and there it is. Another thing you may want to adjust is the overlay. So we've got this background overlay. You can adjust the amount of opacity or decrease it. As you can see, that goes back to the original image, but giving it that darker uh, look that overlay opacity uh, makes that headline stand out a bit more. Bear in mind that you will have your logo in the top corner there. Now, another thing you may want to adjust if you go to layout is the actual uh, minimum height. So if we decrease it, we can add the amount of uh, height to the hero image right there, but uh, somewhere around there looks pretty good. On the same page, you can customize what's existing. So instead of new plants, you could say something like new products. On the left side with Elementor, if you click on this icon right here, that'll bring up the elements where you can insert things like images, you've got text, videos. So simply drag and drop whatever you wish. So let's say you want a video, we'll click that, drag it. So if we want a video right here, we can enable that and then choose a video, enter our YouTube link right here. But to keep things simple, because we're selling products, I'm going to leave this products gallery right here. Now, how do you actually customize and add specific products to this section? Well, let's first exit. On the left menu, you can see products. We'll click on all products. You'll see the existing products listed. You can very well edit an existing one or create one from scratch by clicking on add new, but to keep things simple because they've already been designed in Elementor, if you click on view, you can see what it looks like as you can see right here. So the easiest way is to simply click on edit. Because this was designed in Elementor, we can actually design the page by clicking edit with Elementor. But before we do that, if you scroll down, you'll see some of the product data. So we can select between a simple product, group product, external field product or variable product, but we'll select simple product and if you're selling a digital good, then click on downloadable. It's also uh, virtual as well. So select those, just bring that back up. So under general, you select a regular price and if there is a sale price, enter it in. Otherwise, let's say we are selling a basic guide or ebook, we'll sell it for $9.95. You upload your downloadable files, such as a zip file, or you can select a specific uh, file URL. Where it says download limit, you can set unlimited or select a number of times that a customer can download this actual product. And you've got download expiry. Does the download link expire after they purchase? You can set it right here. A few more options if you take a look, we've got inventory, we've got linked products. You can set an upsell and a cross sell, but you do need multiple products to be able to enable this. Now scrolling back to the top, you'll see the product image. We can simply replace this with our own. Have your product image ready. In my case, I've got this ebook cover. I'll drag and drop it right here and set the product image. There we go. I've got an ebook called Better Habits. Go back to the top and you'll see the title. You wanna make sure you change this. I've entered Better Habits, change the permalink. I've simply changed it to Better-Habits and we will configure the actual permalink so that it's more SEO friendly. So not to get too technical, 
but it's really easy to do. Once that's done, we'll click on update so that we will save whatever settings we've already changed. To actually edit the page, click on edit with Elementor. And this is what customers will see. You can see some of the details. We've got 995. And what we can do is simply customize this. So better habits and then enter our content and any additional images, feel free to design it the way you want. If we go back to products, all products, and then selecting one of the products, you'll see that you'll be able to choose a category. So under product categories, we've got all these plant topics. You wanna to go to categories and this is the easiest way to do it. We'll delete everything. So by doing a bulk action and then we'll go and delete. And you wanna add your own categories. So in this case could be self-help. And then I'll click on add new category. And now it's added. If I go back to all products, select that product that we've edited. And then on the right, you'll be able to see the category. So we can select self-help. And now on the page, you'll see the category changed. Bear in mind after deleting those categories, what will be affected is the actual front page where it says new products, new plants. Now those have disappeared because that's related to the categories that were here previously. So what we're going to wanna do is go to pages, go to all pages, go back to your homepage. We're gonna edit with Elementor. With this section here, you click that once and now you can see the shortcode and the categories. So these are the shortcodes or the slugs that were previously added. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is customize that and update it to our new categories. So going back, to our product categories, we can see we've added self-help and the slug is self-help. So it's a simply matter of deleting what was right there and then we'll add self-help. And now you can see it has been added. I'll just change that to new products and then click on update. Next, to customize the layout and the look of your product pages, such as this page right here, under appearance, click on customize. We've been here before, but this is where you can go and customize WooCommerce settings and then go to general. You can do things like changing the layout. You can also change a side by layout, but going back, you can edit single products. So go to single product. And if you go to, let's say this right here, plants is where our shop is located. Click on any of your products so that you can preview it. This is what it currently looks like. If you go under single product structure, you can enable or disable certain things such as a category. So you can see the category here. We'll disable that and now you see it's gone. Uh, some other things we've got uh, add to cart buttons, we've got the title, things like that. If you scroll down below, we can also uh, disable the shipping text where it says plus free shipping, disable that and now it is gone. But that's how you go about customizing WooCommerce specifically. So what you're gonna to wanna to do in this step is to add your products, add as many as you want, and also deleting what you don't want from the placeholder products on this list. So feel free to do this at your own time. I've added one just to demonstrate and show you some of the basic functions of uh, WooCommerce. But make sure to go back to WooCommerce, go to settings and go under payments and configure your payment settings right here. All right, onto the next thing. On your website, you'll find an about page. You can easily customize this by going to pages, all pages, and this is where you wanna to go to click on edit with Elementor. And again, it's simply a matter of editing anything you want. The text, it's click and edit. Add a video if you wish, otherwise disable it so it's gone. And then add your story if you want to and add an image gallery like this here. These are all optional elements, of course. You can simply right click an element and then click on delete. There it is, it's gone. With your contact page right here, you definitely wanna customize this and make sure that you configure the right settings so that you actually get those web form submissions. Again, under pages and all pages, scroll down and you'll see contact. Click on edit with Elementor. Customize the look and feel of this. Also editing the text to reflect your business. You don't need to include the elements. You can add certain elements too if you want by going back here and then choosing some of these elements here. To make sure you receive those web form submissions, click on the contact form anywhere there, then you'll see form. And then where it says form, click on this right here. It says edit the selected form. That'll take you to WP Forms, which is a plugin that powers this. Customize the form and adding any additional fields as you please. Next, when you go into settings, make sure you enable notifications and then where the emails get sent to depends on your admin email, whatever you set it up to. Otherwise, you can also add additional emails so that any emails that are entered here, those recipients will get it. All right, that's that for the contact page. A few more settings that you're going to want to configure include going under settings, then to permalinks. 
Now where it says permalink structure, make sure you choose a post name so that way it's more SEO friendly and the actual URLs look more user friendly. So we'll click on post name and then click on save. Another thing is we did change the logo. However, it's still existing here on the landing page. So how do we go about changing it? Well, go back to appearance, then to customize. Then we'll go back to header builder and then we'll choose customize transparent header. And where it says logo, we'll change the image. We'll select our uploaded logo right here. And there you have it. We'll just change the width to somewhere around there. And it may not stand out. And this is where you can make those finer adjustments to things like the actual background of your hero image, or perhaps it's a logo that you need to adjust specifically for this landing page. In terms of fonts and colors, simply go to global. And this is where you can change things like typography, changing the body font, heading fonts, we've got H1, H2, so on and so forth. So feel free to adjust this. Let's go back and you've also got colors. So the actual global palette that this site uses, you can see things like the buttons and some of the links and colors use some of these colors right here where it says global palette. But that's where you can go to change the colors, typography, sizes, fonts, and more based on your brand. Now, your navigation menu at the top, this can also be customized. So you can choose what appears on your actual menu. Under appearance, you'll see menus, and this is where you can change the menu structure. For the primary menu, we've got the home page, we've got plants or our products shop page, about page and contact page. You can select the pages that you do want to appear on your menu and you can also disable the ones that you do not want or remove it more so. But that's where you go to customize your menu. And really that is how quick and easy it is to set up your own website using Hostinger. You're able to register a domain name, get web hosting. Hostinger guided us in order to choose a theme and then we simply customize it with the look and feel that we want based on our brand. We added our products and things of that nature. So if you wanna get started today, make sure to use the link in the description box below to sign up for Hostinger. Again, I recommend the premium hosting plan so that way you can host up to 100 websites and also get a free domain name. For a further discount use my coupon Aurelius so that way you can get additional discount on top of the current existing sale and most of the time hosting it does have a sale on so feel free to use that code sign up and then get your website up and running. Thanks so much for watching and if you found this video helpful be sure to give this video a thumbs up. In the meantime I'll leave up a couple of relevant videos for you to watch next.